Well, an excellent beginning panel. Let's see what you can do with the second challenger. Will you enter and sign in, please? Michael Jackson, right? Jackson, where are you from? Johannesburg, South Africa. Congratulations. Well, is that a good choice? <laughs> it's a very good choice. <laughs> Thank you. You were born in Johannesburg. Yes, I was. As you know, I was born in Johannesburg, too. Oh, no, well, let's leave, and we'll come back after one. <laughs> no, well, we've got a program to do. Well, are you in the United States living and working? Now? Yes, I am. And where are you from in the United States? San Francisco. Well, you're a very lucky man to be born in Johannesburg and to be now living in San Francisco. May I present our panel? How do you do? Would you join me over here, please? Do you know how we keep score on What's My Line, Mr. Jackson? Yes, I do, thank you. All right, we'll let the audience at home and the audience in the theater know exactly what your line is. Panel, we will tell you that Mr. Jackson is salaried, deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Arlene Francis. Uh, Mr. Jackson, you signed your name with a flourish that made me think that there might be something creative about what you do. Is there? How very kindly of you. I, I um, no, there's nothing creative about what I do. <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> That flourish led me on. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Mr. Gable. You do your work indoors, Mr. Jackson? Yes, I do. You do people come to you for your service? Um, could I take advice? Do they come? To... Yes, yes, they certainly do. I would say what we have here is a very difficult equation, Martin. We would not suggest that they have to come in each case physically into his presence to get his service, but certainly they must take the initiative to have the benefit of it. Let's put it that way. Yes. <laughs> in other words, Mr. Jackson, you don't solicit business. Oh, no, no, definitely no. Is there uh, some... Uh, is it morally wrong for you to solicit business in your profession? Shall we ask the audience? Um... <laughs> no, and actually, here again, uh, Martin, so we don't mislead, I, I think we might uh, admit, and of necessity have to admit, that under certain circumstances, Mr. Jackson might be described in a very general sense uh, as having a need to uh, perhaps suggest that he's soliciting business as a part of his work, but uh, not... Uh, all the time, certainly. Do they understand that, sir? No, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. We understand. <laughs> we speak Esperanto, John's <laughs> language. It takes years to learn. Uh, do you need a uh, higher education for what you do? No. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand eight to go, Miss Gilgallan. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, uh, do you deal more with one sex than the other? <laughs> uh, no. no. <laughs> Three down to seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Jackson, I don't think we've ascertained so far whether or not you work for a profit-making organization. Oh, yes, yes. You do? Yes. Uh, very profitable? Yes. Uh, <laughs> well, well, Bennett's uh, about to say a publishing company. <laughs> Heavens no. At random, had you any idea which one? Oh, <laughs> Bennett, you just had it. Mr. At Jackson? random, he said, do you have any idea which one? <laughs> Come on, Bennett, laugh. I didn't hear you. It's very clever, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> uh, do you work uh, with a great many other people where you, where you do your job? No, no, I do not. Not a great many other people. He does, as we all do, work with other people, but not masses immediately surrounding him. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Now, you have said that while people don't come uh, to you for your service, indirectly, people are there. Would you have anything, therefore, to do in any way with the television medium? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Uh, Gable. Uh, what? No. 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 <laughs> Do you touch your clients in any way? You're speaking now of the physical fact of contact, I dare say, rather than the emotional... Uh, uh, rather than moving them, you mean? Yes. No. Uh, yes. 
Yes, that's fine. Six down and four to go, Miss Gilgallan. We're doing all right. Yeah. Mr. Jackson, uh, are you connected with any form of communications? Yes, ma'am, I am. Uh, would it be radio? Yes, ma'am, it would. Oh. Uh, are you a disc doctor? Yes. Yes, ma'am, I am. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Mr. Jackson has started very recently, I yes. think, with KYA in San Francisco, and I do say here that he's a lucky man indeed to have found a, an association in San Francisco. He must be marvelous because out there they have the most devastating of all the television and radio columnists and critics, I think. They're very funny and very good. So thank you very much. You'll have to I'm be I'm sure good. they would thank you and appreciate and have back the, the, the compliment, I'm sure. And now you'll spin a record. <laughs> it's rock and roll. <laughs> oh, is it? Yes. But All actually, the way? Mm -hmm. you've been here how long? 18 months from South yes. Africa, and you went to Springfield, Springfield Massachusetts, Massachusetts, and is now in San Francisco. And I know some colleagues of yours in, in our general radio and, and uh, television industry who spent all their lives trying to get to San Francisco, and you've made it in less than 18 I months. I think the whole East Coast should get up and migrate to the West Coast. <laughs> I really do, sir. You do. Well, now, there's a good debate that you're... That the whole fighting. East Coast should get up and migrate to the West. You'll send the Giants back. Absolutely. I'll <laughs> send the Giants back. I think the, the North and the South are certainly being united by the Westerns, if not the East. <laughs> I want to congratulate you. I was <laughs> never that obfuscating in my life. Thank you very much, Mr. Jackson. Thank nice you, to have seen you and what's my life. Thank you.